As you can see, this report is pre-recorded. Hindi ko may entertain ang questions nyo while it is presenting. Naka-video type siya kasi I have a full-time job at makikisuyo lang ako sa isa sa mga ating classmates para i-present ang report ko. Ang gagamitin kong linggo ay English, Tagalog at Ilonggo. So please bear with me guys. Hi, good morning. My name is Roy Glenarshaga and I'm here to discuss the types of wave theory. Every sound we hear, every photon of light that hits our eyes, the movement of grass blown by the wind and the regular beat of the tides are all example of waves. Lahat ng waves ay nasa paligid na natin, di ba? Nung bata pa tayo, tumatapon tayo ng bato sa tubig tapos makikita natin yung konting alon. Di ba? Manol patas at to. Ang munang ibig sabihin sa waves. At the simplest level, waves are disturbance that propagate energy through medium. Propagation of the energy depend on the interactions between the particles that make up the medium. Particles move as the waves pass through, but there is no net motion of particles. This means, once a wave has passed, the particles return to their original position. As a result, energy, not matter, is propagated by waves. Different types of waves exhibit a specific characteristics. These characteristics are used to distinguish between wave types. Orientation of particle motion relative to the direction of energy propagation is one way waves are characterized. There are three categories. Number one is longitudinal waves. As you can see from the presentation, compression at both ends displays no space or magkakadikit-dikit sila. At ang refraction naman ay pagkakalayo-layo nila sa isa't isa. At syempre, yung wavelength ay ang sukat ng wave occurrence. In short, movement of the particles are parallel to the motion of the energy. Sound waves moving through the air is an example of this type of wave. No domino effect lang siya kumbaga. Moving on to the transverse wave. Movement of the particles are at right angles perpendicular to the motion of the energy. Movement of a wave through a solid object like stretch rope or a trampoline is an example of this type of wave. Kita mo nang dungol-dungol kagin nga bata, ako kagang kailangan ibakol sa'yo mo nang latigogin. Tapos ang haranot ni papa mo nang latigogin nga gabiti-biti ibulaw. Nang gaigwad-igwad dira, ang gaigwad pataas ang tawag dira ang crest. Tapos ang gaigwan pa baba, ako nang tawag na true. Tapos, kung sa tungaan siya, nag na siya, equilibrium ng tawag. Sina para ibig sabihin, para smooth ang wave mo, kailangan mo sa equilibrium. kay para equal ang sizes niya pataas, kag pa baba, kag ang sizes niya na sa height niya, ang tawag sina amplitude. Then, ang size ng latigo, kung di nag-occur ang wave, ako nang tawag na wavelength. So, ang muna, ang advice ko sa inyo, kung mga bata, baka mo subong, dapat hindi ka mo padungol sa tatay nyo kaya para hindi ka mo pagbakulod sa latigo. So, the surface waves. Ito na surface waves, which is the last part of waves. Particle travel in a circular motion. These waves occur at interfaces. Examples include waves in the ocean and ripples in a cup of water. One consequence of occurring at an interface is that the motion of the particles diminish with distance from the interface. The further from the interface, the smaller the rotation of the particles until a some distance from the surface. There is no more movement or energy propagation. Kamunin siya ang combination sa longitudinal kag transverse wave. So moving on, in the factors that affects the waves, So, may mga factors tayo. Nakikita naman natin, di ba? Hindi naman mangyayari ang isang bagay kung walang factor at makakaapekto. Meaning, the waves are dependent. So, the speed of a wave is dependent on the four factors. Wavelength, frequency, medium, and temperature. 
So, further notice, speed is constant in a given medium. Ibig sabihin, constant siya sa medium nga gintawag. Ang medium is the material that we use to create waves. Since speed is constant within the same medium, a high frequency has a short wavelength and a vice versa. As waves travel through a medium, two properties affect wave speed. Density. The higher the density, the slower the wave. Elasticity. Waves travel faster through materials that are more elastic. Temperature. The speed of waves increase as temperature increases. This is due to the increase of kinetic energy of the air molecules and the decrease in density. So, ganito ang mga factors ng waves kung bakit umiiba ang waves natin. Kikita rin naman natin, di ba, nung bata pa tayo, kapag nag-interact ng dalawang waves, di ba, maapekto ka ng bawat isa. So, ganun lang yon Parang yun yung factor sa pagkaiba ng waves. Pero dito, more scientific explanation lang siya, more scientific terminologies, which involves density, elasticity, and temperature. So, that is all guys. Thank you for listening to me. And this is Roy Glenn Ashaga reporting for Types of Wave Theory.